Hello, I'm Atuba Jojna. Happy New Month. Praise God. Listen, we are in the month of November right now. And the Spirit of God said we are in the season of restoration. Listen. Now, now, now that's why I'm inviting you for our program is holding tomorrow and tomorrow Saturday and Sunday evening at the Zeus Paradise Hotel uh, Mabushi by Sechako in the city of Abuja. Don't miss it. Don't, don't miss it. Listen times like this you need to be brought to that place where your mind and your understanding is is shaped to walk into god's purpose for your life the lord who has said that is the season of restoration what's he doing he's restoring the years actually redeeming the years praise god so so everything that's going to be happening around this season and let me tell you the truth, you will observe that several opportunities that you have missed in the past will come to you again. Now, what's God doing? He's giving you that opportunity again. Now, what are you going to do this time? Now, that's why I'm sharing these things I'm sharing with you. Now, Philippians, Philippians chapter 2 and verse 14, it says, do all things, in other words, everything, everything, your response to everything that shows up must be this. No murmuring, no disputing. This is not the time to fight. You say, what do you mean? Yeah, this is not the time to fight. This is time to be, actually, this is the season to be sober. Why should I be sober? What if someone wants to fight me? Yeah, the first question you should be asking yourself is, why is this person being stirred up against me right now? So, Lord Holy Spirit, what's going on? What, what's behind this? What do you want me to do? You see, because everything that will happen in your life, you know, especially things that just come up suddenly. Now, many times they may not look good, but there is good afterwards. For example, when the lion came to take the bear, the, the, the sheep David was watching over, that didn't look good. Now, on a normal day, what will you do? Run away. But then the question David asked himself was, he inquired of the Lord, I'm sure. Lord, what will you have me do? And the Lord told him, don't let that lion take that sheep. Should I go kill myself? You know, like some people say, so should I go and kill myself? This is a lion. But listen, when the Lord says, take on it, then he's giving you the ability. And remember what I said, there are angels. Listen, all the angels are waiting for you to do. He said, this is the way we are going. And hear me, they will back you up. So when you throw one hand, oh, it's ten hands that is going to land on that object. Praise God. Now, it's the same thing. Something may look difficult, you know, when you take a first look at it. But don't run away so quickly. Now, this, listen, when God says restoration, don't think that you will sleep and wake up and you just realize that everything, you know, your bank alert has, you, know, you receive a bank alert from an unknown person and, or you receive a phone call, someone say, look, I had a dream of you that uh, you, I should give you my estate. And like, oh, <laughs> now, now, God can do that. He can do that. Well, let me tell you this. He wants you involved with what he's doing. You know why? Because he wants you to give, he wants to give you the glory. He said, yeah, but the Bible says he will not share his glory with any man. <laughs> Jesus said, the glory that you have given me, I have given them so that they will be one. Now, what does that mean? Does that mean I should just sit down and wear the glory? No, 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 no. See, you don't understand something. When Jesus said that, he is actually saying that we are going to enjoy the same victory that he enjoyed. Now, what does that mean on the other side? We are going to face the same challenges that he faced. But listen, the good thing for us is this. He's gone before us. So he's like our mirror. Everything he conquered, we conquer easily. Now, now we know that someone can conquer it. it, it it's like, you know, you, you know, maybe you drive at night. And then you're, you're in a new area. And then you enter this road and you're wondering, is this road good or bad? Or what's going on? And then you don't see anybody driving on the road. Like, oh, wait, till, I'm, I'm kind of confused here. And then suddenly you see a light coming from the other side. And then a car comes and passes. Oh, ah, if that car can pass, then I can go. You see? Now that's what Jesus came to do for us. You must understand this. 
He came to give us the victory. Now, that victory doesn't mean we'll just sit down like some lazy folks who, who don't need to do anything. No, 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 no. No. As the challenges of life is thrown at us, we remember Jesus, that he got the victory over this. I'm going to get the victory over it also. See? Now, that's why, for example, the Bible says he was without sin. Oh, so can I be without sin? Oh, 100%. Yes, you can be without sin. Say, how? When the challenge comes, remember Jesus faced that same challenge. He said, are you sure Jesus faced the kind of challenge we are facing today? Oh, sure he did. The Bible says he was in all points tempted. When it says all points, it means all points. Praise God. Yeah, it means all points. So think about it. Everything you can think about that is a challenge to you, Jesus faced it. But the good news is he conquered them all. What does that mean? Is a free, easy ride for me today. Praise God. This thing, these are part of the things that the Lord guiding us. We're going to be talking about during our meeting tomorrow and on Sunday. You don't want to miss it. Praise God. Get, get yourself together and clear out Saturday and Sunday evening and plan to be there. Praise God. And 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 let's just have a wonderful time and Get into this restoration that the Spirit of God is talking about and, and be the best that God has for us. Praise God. Listen, this weekend is going to be your best weekend ever. And the Spirit of God is going to open your understanding. Listen, November will not end and you will still be in this situation you are in right now. Change is here. The opportunities are being given to you and the right attitude is found in you and like he says don't murmur don't dispute with anybody ask the holy spirit what should i do he will tell you what to do and get the victory praise god until tomorrow i'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow and sunday have a wonderful weekend bye bye